Happy 4th of July race fans, and we welcome you to Daytona International Speedway from Daytona Beach, Florida, the world center of racing. It is a gorgeous but hot day here at Daytona. We got 16 of the greatest NASCAR Winston Cup Series drivers. They'll be racing side by side in a pack three wide or maybe even four wide for 16 laps. Here at Daytona, Matt Kenseth in the number 17 D Walt Ford Tower for Ralph Racing. He'll be starting on the pole alongside a two time Daytona 500 champion and a Pepsi 400 winner from 1996, Sterling Marlin. The yellow Kodak machine is always a threat when it comes to restrictor plate racers. And how about Jeff Gordon? He's starting in seventh. He's starting in the mid pack, but I believe he will be up front at the end. And how about the Ford cars? Ford power, baby. They've been very fast all weekend long. Most of them are starting up front in a very well spot. And Mark Barn, he has to catch up to do. Now let's get to your command to start the engine to kick off today's race. Drivers, start your engines. Sixteen Winston Cup drivers are coming to life as they come out of pit road. The fans are ready. We are ready. But first, let's get to your starting lineup for today's race. On the first row, we got the number 17 of Matt Kenseth and the 1996 Pepsi 400 winner, Starlin Marlin. On row two, we got Tony Stewart, who knows how to get it done in the 400, and Johnny Benson. On row three, it is Ricky Rudd and Jeff Burton who won the Pepsi 400 back in 2000. And on the fourth row, we got Jeff Gordon. He knows how to get it done here at Daytona alongside with Kurt Busch. On the fifth row, it is Mark Martin and Terry Labonte. On the sixth row, we got Bobby Labonte and Jerry Nadeau. And then on the seventh row, we got the 2002 Pepsi 400 winner and two-time Daytona 500 champion, Michael Waltrip and Bill Ali, the two-time Daytona 500 champion. And on the final row, we got Todd Bodine and Ricky Craven. And now let's take a look at the race facts. Race facts, 16 laps, 400 miles. We got 16 cars getting ready to race and the pole center is Matt Kenseth. And now for the track facts here at Daytona, it is a two and a half mile oval, 31 degrees of banging in the corners, two degrees of banging on the back strokes, and 18 degrees of banging on the tri oval. Alrighty folks, enough talk. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's go racing and beat the heat, but first we're gonna go to commercial break. We'll be right back to kick off today's race. Hi Charlie, my name is Robert. What is your name? Welcome back to Daytona. As the Corvette pace car turns left, Matt Kenden and Starlin Marlin will show the front row. The green flag is out. The Pepsi Firecracker 400 is underway. An amazing start for Matt Kenden and Starlin Marlin. As we're waiting for these cars to catch up to speed, as they're getting ready to go 170 miles per hour at the back stretch. Here comes Starlin Marlin to the inside with Tony Stewart, Ricky Rudd. Here they come, two by two by two by two by two off of turn three and four. And Starlin Marlin on the inside. He's gonna lead the first lap. The inside lane gets a good run. Starlin Marlin will lead the first lap here at the Pepsi Firecracker 400 at Daytona. Look at the top three going single file. And look at Matt Kenseth clinch to the inside. The top four is now single file. As they enter the back stretch, watch again. Here goes Tony Stewart. He fakes side. And he makes a move on Sterling Marlin. What a move for Tony Stewart. And just a reminder, there is no double yellow line rule. NASCAR has finally abolished that rule. And here comes Johnny Benson. They're dead even leading the first two laps. On board with the number 20, Home Depot. Pontiac Grand Prix of Tony Stewart as we're both 
two by two by two once again. And this has been an amazing start to the Pepsi Firecracker 400. Here's a flyby of the back straightaway. And here's a flyby turn number three as they're both dead even side by side. Johnny Benton won both number 26. Looks like Tony Stewart's gonna lead that lap. And here comes Ricky Craven, Matt Kinson, and Mark Martin going to the apron. Three wide. Man, that was a close one. Now everybody's three by three by three. Ricky Craven to the lead. Here comes the inside lane, the outside lane. The Roush Trio are falling back. Here comes Tony Stewart and Sterling Marlin once again. Man, that was a daredevil move for Ricky Rudd, Mark Martin, and Matt Kenseth. And here comes Jeff Gordon, the Rainbow Warrior. Here he comes with the help of Jerry Nadu, Ricky Craven, and Bill Elliott. And Jeff Gordon is going to lead that lap. We're on board number 24, Duke Bun, Rainbow Warrior Machine. And wow, this has truly been an amazing start to the Pepsi Firecracker 400. Fans have been on their feet. And here comes Tony Stewart. Jeff Gordon still defending his lead. He blocks the inside lane. Could the center lane get the run? Here comes the outside lane. What a beautiful flyby view from the back stretch of turn three. Here comes the outside lane with a big run. Here comes Gordon making a block. Jeff Gordon gets put in the wall. Around goes to 24. Tony Stewart, the number 20, gets collected. Cautions out. As they race back to a line somewhere over the rainbow, Jeff Gordon is extremely disappointed in himself. And Tony Stewart, an innocent bystander who was up front for most of the race, he gets involved as Ron Borden number 20. He's going to go to pit road to see if he can get some repairs done to get back on track. Same thing with Jeff Gordon. He's going to go to pit road to see if he can get some repairs done so he can continue to race. Let's take a look at the replay of what happened. Watch the outside. They were going to get a big run as soon as they exited the fourth corner. The Roush Kateers and Jeff Gordon thought he was going to be clear after the spotter told him that the outside line was coming. But it looked like he went to the outside too late. He came up on Johnny Benson. He hit the wall. He goes around. Tony Stewart was the unfortunate driver. An innocent bystander who got part of it. They're both spinning in the infield. And then racing back to the line, Jerry Nadu will lead the field to the green. And very unfortunate for number 24 and number 20, but hopefully they'll be back on track with the rest of the field. And we're looking at the number 24, Jeff Gordon, and number 20, Tony Stewart. Right now, they're currently on pit road to get some repairs done while the game's on repairs. We're going to go to commercial. We'll be going back green momentarily. Listen here, poopy butt. I had enough of you. I am tired of you treating me like poop. I am going insane now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! Whee! Oh my head! Oh! Oh no! Welcome back to Daytona, folks. Jerry Nader is gonna lead the field back to green as Tony Stewart's multiple laps down. He just got a pit road. Pace car turns left. Green flag is back in the air. We're underway once again at Daytona. Jeff Gordon's back on the lap. One board number 25 has got a good restart. He's the only Hendrick Motorsports car up front. He's all by himself. As there are two wide, Tony Stewart drops back to get away from the lead lap cars. Jerry Nadu blocks the inside, but here goes the outside lane, leading by Ricky Craven. Everybody is double file now. As Tony Stewart goes to the inside lane, side by side, who's going to lead the ninth lap of the Pepsi Firecracker 400? It's going to be Jerry Nadu. This race has gone intense yet again. I wonder who's going to make the move to fight their way to lead and get around Jerry Nadu. Here comes the inside lane. They're having a better run in the corners. Could this be the opportunity for Johnny Benson to get the lead? Looks like he's going to wait for his move. As we're on board to number 26. Coming off of turn four, we got a car slowing down. It is Tony Stewart at the back stretch. Caution's out. They'll race back to the line. Here comes Johnny Benson. He gets the run on the inside. And Benson will lead the race back to the line. As Tony Stewart has engine problems, he stops. He's going to call the day. And let's take a look at the replay of them racing back to the line. So the caution's already out. They're racing back to the line. Johnny Benson goes high. He goes fake high so he can make a move. Jerry Nudu tries to block. But remember, no double fire yellow line rule as Benson gets the big run on the inside. And look at him going by Jerry Nudu fast. 
and Johnny Benson will lead the field down to the green with three laps to go. We'll be right back for the finish of the Pepsi Firecracker 400. Stay tuned, folks. It's going to be a good one. Look, Charlie, I got you this toy. Here you go. Welcome back to Daytona. The pace car turns left. Johnny Benton, Jerry Nadeau will lead the field back to the green. Three laps to go. We are underway here at Daytona. The three lap dash for the win. As Jerry Nadeau, Johnny Benton go all the way to the inside. Here comes the outside lane with Jeff Burns, Ricky Craven, Kurt Busch. Sterling Marlin falls back. As we're two by two by two. Here comes Sterling Marlin getting a push from Mark Marlin. He goes to the center lane. He gets sideways. Michael Walter gets collected. Matt Kenseth. A bunch of others are involved. As there's a six car race. Back to the line with two laps to go. Caution's out. And as of right now, Johnny Benson is currently your race leader. He could be your winner if he can make it through the line. With two slow caution laps to go. And look at the carnage. Jeff Gordon, Terry Labonte, Todd Bodine, Ricky Rudd, Matt Kenseth, Bobby Labonte were on board with him. Mark Martin, Sterling Marlin, and Michael Waltrip. And let's take a look at the replay of what happened, shall we? And as we mentioned before the crash, Sterling Marlin was getting help from Mark Martin. But then Sterling went to the center lane, but he got loose. Collected Michael Waltrip, Ricky Rudd, Matt Kenseth, the Hendrick cars of Jeff Gordon, and Terry Labonte. As I cross the line, checkered flag, Johnny Benson Jr. will win the 2020 Pepsi Firecrack yeah! 400, and we'll be right back. Hey everybody, this is Ian here, aka Ian Press 48. I hope you guys are enjoying the stop motion race so far. It's not the greatest race I've ever done, it was the hardest and the longest I've done in a while. But hey, the most important part, of, the most important part about doing stop motions is to keep you guys entertaining, and I hope you guys are being entertained by this race. Welcome back to Daytona, folks, and here is the number 26, Cheerios Roush Racing, Johnny Benson Jr. taking the checkered flag, going straight to victory lane after winning the 2020 Pepsi Firecracker 400. And let's look at the finishing results here. We got Johnny Benson in victory lane after winning this race. Second place goes to Jeff Burton. Third place goes to Jerry Nadeau. Good run for him. Fourth place goes to Bill Elliott. Fifth place goes to Ricky Craven, a quiet top five run. Sixth place is Kurt Busch. Seventh place is Bobby Labonte, who finished the race a lap down. Same with Mark Martin, finished eighth. They both finished the race a lap down. Sterling Marlin finishes ninth. Matt Kenseth, the pole sitter, finishes tenth. Michael Walter finishes eleventh. We're looking at, we're looking at the drivers of Deanna. Ricky Craven finishes twelfth. Top Dine finishes thirteenth. Terry Labonte finishes 14. He, he did not have a good run today. Jeff Gordon finishing 15th after leading some laps and then spinning out in the crash. And then Tony Stewart finishes last place after blowing up an engine. He had a good one, but this year not happen. Well, I want to say thank you guys for watching this race. And we would like to congratulate Johnny Benson Jr. on winning the 2020 Pepsi Firecracker 400. Happy late Independence Day. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next race. Goodbye, everybody. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Turn on the YouTube channel notifications for more. All that good stuff. See you guys next time.